Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Okay, so you all know this fan manga that came out of Yamcha, where someone takes over his body and lives his life for him, a Dragon Ball fan who knows what happens in the series and changes the aspects of Yamcha's life to make him one of the better fighters and change the series. So I want to do my own little twist on this but I'm going to do it for Tien and I'm going to start a bit earlier. So this is going to start in the King Pickle Arc. In the King Pickle Arc. So my starting point here is the death scene of Master Roshi and Chao Tzu. So I'm not going to change anything here. Tien is still barely conscious, he can't move and he's watching Master Roshi die and then King Piccolo killing Chao Tzu. He watches King Piccolo destroy Shenron. So all that goes the same. So the next part, Tien originally he left in his ship and he'd go off in solitude to learn the Mufuba of the evil containment wave. But what I do, so I'm doing this as though I've become Tien. So what I would do, Master Roshi will have told Tien about bits of his life, i.e. the training with Corrin on top of the tower. So my initial thing would be to go to Corrin Tower. So at this point, this is when Goku, he is on his way to Corrin Tower with Yajirobe and he senses the death of Master Roshi. So he would get to the tower first and Tien would get there shortly after so by the time Tien has climbed Corrin Tower, Goku would have got to the top and he's just got his sense of being, he's recovering and him and Yajirobe are talking to Corrin. This is when Tien would reach the top of Corrin Tower. So he's already gotten stronger from the climb. He sees Goku, sees that he is alive. So they all begin to talk about what's happened. Corrin and Tien, they fill Goku in about what just happened to Master Roshi and Chaozu. He's devastated and he's angry, just like he was when Krillin died. So this time, it goes the same with Goku. Corrin recommends that Goku would go and drink the Ultra Divine Water. Tien would want to go with him, but Corrin would point out that Tien may not survive, there is a higher risk of him dying from the Ultra Divine Water than what there is of Goku because Tien he'll still be going through this like change in himself. He has not fully discovered himself as a good guy, but he is still he does he's not evil at all now, but he has not amended for his ways and there's still that conflict within himself. Even with someone else in his body, it is still Tien after all. He's still going through like this emotional transition from wanting to grow up to be an assassin like Mercenary Tao to this good guy like Goku, like Master Roshi, like Krillin. So I as Tien would not take the risk of drinking the Ultra Divine Water, but would go with Goku instead of Yajirobe to get the Ultra Divine Water. So going through this torment and torture to get to the water, that would be that would improve and strengthen Tien's mentality. So he's already got this boost of strength from climbing the tower and his mentality has improved from having to put with the same demons that Goku had to deal with when he went to get the Ultra Divine Water. So Tien is becoming more competent. Okay, so Goku drinks the water and he's got a good 
understanding of what it takes to drink the water and he believes that Tien is strong enough and is strong willed enough to actually drink it so Tien would have the water as well so at this point Tien and Goku there's not much in it Goku is just slightly stronger than Tien now when if they both drink the water Tien would still keep up with Goku so they're about the same yeah so now they would go and they would go to fight King Piccolo so Goku would go on the Nimbus and Tien as soon as he got down Corrin Tower he would get in his ship and they would Goku would get there first obviously because the Nimbus is faster so we get there about the same time just before King Piccolo is about to set off Goku gets there and he killed King Piccolo he's shocked that Goku is there so he's shocked that he's there and he he sends out Drum to fight Goku Goku just annihilates Drum it's no contest and then Tien shows up so this is where the fight begins both Tien and Goku would want to fight Piccolo both would be able to defeat him so Goku would want revenge for Krillin Master Roshi and his own personal defeat Tien would want revenge for Chaozu and Master Roshi he would feel guilty that he did not help them he was incapacitated and could not do anything to save his fallen friends so I believe that Tien he would not fight Goku would go straight for Piccolo and Piccolo it, it being either fight so when Tien sees Goku getting caught off guard he goes for the solar flare catches Piccolo off guard and then he takes over Tien begins to get the upper hand with Piccolo and he, he starts to beat him so when Tien he shows no mercy he does a tri beam and just smashes Piccolo into the ground he's severely hurt but he's not dead he's not dying he gets up and he uses that mouth blast straight at Tien and knocks him down he's quite badly hurt but he gets up this is when Goku's angry he goes straight for Piccolo and kills him as he normally did so Goku does still kill King Piccolo and now he, both these two are quite badly hurt so they say that they will go to Korin Tower at this point Yamcha and the others they were not on their way to fight Piccolo because the only reason that they were going in the first place is because they would had the message from Tien that he was going to use the evil containment wave that he was going to die well basically he was giving them the goodbye message that is the only reason why they went Yamcha was going to fight alongside him so they didn't go they stayed at Kame house so now Goku and Tien they'll go back up Korin Tower to talk to Korin and Yajirobe and give them the good news as King Piccolo he does the same as what he normally did he spits out the egg of his essence and this time wants his son Piccolo Jr to get revenge on both Goku and Tien so it's not just revenge on one it's both so Tien and Goku they go up Korin Tower and he sends them to see Kami they get up there and meet Mr. Popo so this whole interaction there's no fight and they just talk and there's not much that happens here until Kami comes out so Goku would initially run at Kami like he did in the first, the first time I meet but instead of Mr. Popo stopping him Tien would stop him and just say uh, Goku this is not Piccolo you can tell that there's something different about him it, 
it must be Kami. It's the one that Corrin told us about. He is a guardian of Earth. We can't fight him. Well, this is when Kami explains the story of him and Piccolo. So he tells them that he is Piccolo's good side and explains the whole situation with him splitting from Piccolo. So that's why he tells them that is why he couldn't kill Piccolo himself. So now, Kami, he wants the two of them to train with him for the next few years to fight Piccolo Jr. as he would normally want Goku. Now, he resurrects the dragon. And the Dragon Balls, they are on the island with Bulma, Yamcha, Lanch and the others. They resurrect three fallen ones, Master Roshi, Krillin and Chaozu. So Tien says to Kami, please may I go and see Chaozu. He's more than a friend to me, he's my brother. So Kami allows this. As long as Goku carries on training, Tien is allowed just one day to see Chaozu. So he he quickly goes to Kame house. So he explains everything to his friends. He tells Yabchakron Chaozu that they need to train hard. He doesn't tell them about Piccolo Jr. Like when Goku first told Tien in the anime when he first went to the tournament and saw Piccolo, he says to him, he won't tell them that it is Piccolo. He won't tell anything about the whole Piccolo situation, even though he knows. So he just told the other three to train as hard as they can. But him and Goku have gotten exceptionally strong, a lot stronger since the tournament. So he tells them they have to go through the most intensive training of their life if they want to keep up with them. So the three of them head out on their journey like they normally did. Tien heads straight back to the Corrin Tower, straight out to the lookout. While the other three, they begin to train, and they do put more effort in than last time. So they are get, they will get a lot stronger than what they originally did in the anime. So now Tien, he will go under this training with Goku. So the main thing I want. I think it'd be an interesting thing here is when Goku went back in time to see Master Roshi and Master Mutaito. I think it'd be an incredibly interesting interaction to see how Tien sees Master Shen. Because he was just a bully. He picked on Master Roshi, he belittled him, and he was just, he was just horrible, really. That's the nicest way I can put it, to be honest. So this would completely sway Tien away from all that permanently. And all this, he'd sit back and watch. He'd have the same fight with Mutaito. But I believe that he would learn to sense energy quicker than what Goku did. So all this sensing and visualization of your opponent and using the spirit energy that is something that Tien he would pick up a lot quicker than what Goku originally did because as we saw in Tien's first introduction he can learn a move like in seconds as he showed when he used a Kamehameha wave with little effort so he would get a strong he, him and Goku's training together it would be pretty steady fade gradually develop evenly Goku staying a bit ahead because he's a Saiyan. He will naturally get stronger and stronger. So by the time of the tournament, Goku and Tien, they are about the same. So this is where I'm going to leave off part one, just as we're coming up to the tournament. It's all these three years have passed. They have gone back in time and they've trained with Mutaito. 
they've been in the hyperbolic time chamber for two months this time. So whereas Goku, he only survived one month when he was a child, he survived two with Tien's help. So this is where I'm going to leave it off guys. Please like and comment, let me know what you think. I'm going to carry on this story anyway because I think it's really interesting. I liked what they did with the Amcha story and I want to carry on this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.